hopefully this works. It's my first time singing it up uh, quite like this, so. Okay. All right, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, my name is Evan Sims. I'm senior developer at Ushihidi, and I'm on the CrowdMap team. So today I wanted to give a brief overview of what CrowdMap is, how it works, how to get started. Um, it's going to be a purely high-level look at the service, um, nothing very technical. should only take about 30 minutes, I'm thinking, um, but after that we'll do a, a brief Q&A session and, you know, see how long that goes. But um, I'll be taking questions here in the Hangout or via Twitter at, uh, at CrowdMap. So you can tweet that and Heather will pass your questions on to me. Um, so this Hangout is something of an experiment. Um, we've never done one of these before, to my knowledge. And, you know, if we get a positive response and people like this, um, we and especially I will be doing more of these and take on more in-depth topics. So we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> if you like it, um, you know, definitely, definitely let us know because, you know, I love Google Plus. I love the concept of Google Hangouts. So I would love to do more of these. So if the interest is there. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with what Ushihidi is, um, but for those that aren't and those that will watch this later, um, Ushihidi is a free and open source tool, uh, meaning anyone can download it right now for free, absolutely. Um, and its purpose is to collect uh, user contributed information from a variety of mediums. Um, so for example, this could be instances of violence in a region being posted to Twitter or uh, reports of power outages uh, via text message. Uh, it's pretty much any resource, uh, any information that you can tap uh, the crowd at large for. <coughs> so Ushihidi provides the tools to gather and curate that information. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold. So after you've, after you've gathered and curated that information, um, you can then visualize it on a map. Um, so you can imagine this being very useful in emergency situations like natural disasters or uprisings with uh, you know, violence. Um, but it's also been used in an incredible variety of other ways. Uh, really, what, whatever you can imagine tapping a crowd, for, a crowd of users for with uh, geographically relevant information. Um, you know, people on CrowdMap, we've seen a lot of interesting uses um, like even, even awesome things like uh, people doing reviews of fast food joints. You know, who's got the best fa fast food joint in Philadelphia? You know, there's a crowd map for that. So the obvious hurdle with that, however, is um, the technical one. So you need to have a fair amount of technical knowledge to download and install and configure Ushihidi, especially to do it properly and securely. Um, so you know, it's, it's not accessible to everyone who might be interested in doing this, but they don't have the knowledge to do it. So that's where CrowdMap comes in. Um, CrowdMap is our free hosting service. Uh, we currently host tens of thousands. Uh, I think we're somewhere around 30,000, over 30,000 now, uh, Ushihidi deployments. Um, you know, the service is battle-tested and reliable and uh, most importantly, secure. But you know, we handle all the technical aspects of getting Ushihidi up and running. Uh, so, you know, you're left to doing the important things and getting your deployment and getting that information curated. So, you know, basically, if you want to do a deployment, an Ushihidi deployment, and you don't have the technical know-how, or you don't want to invest in the server resources to do it, CrowdMap is a great way to do it. So, that's pretty much... Um, pretty much the summary of it, so let me give you a hands-on look here. Let me switch machines. Okay. Okay, so um, before I show you CrowdMap, here's, here's a couple of really interesting uh, 
crowd map examples that are that are out in the wild right now. Um, women under siege, uh, Syria, which, uh, as you see here, document as, documents sexualized violence in Syria, uh, sexual assaults. Um, and there is the uh, Brisbane uh, City Council, which uh, we just had a huge amount of traffic uh, last week from this um, because of the, uh, the floods that we're having there. So uh, as you can see, it's very popular and it's, it's apparently very useful to the, to the people of Brisbane. So we're very, very excited to see that. But this is an example of something that isn't, that isn't um, what you might first think of as a use for Ushahidi. Um, you know, mapping, mapping flooding and, and, uh, and storm damage and things like that. But it's, it's such an open platform that you can really do anything like this that you'd like. So um, to start, you just head to crowdmap.com. Um, this is our homepage. Uh, we're currently working on a, a redesign, which will, I think, dramatically improve it. But this is, this is where we are currently. And you can search for existing maps here if you'd like. Um, this is our Women Under Siege uh, Pharma Tracker. And there's the Brisbane Storm and Flood map. Uh, you can search by keyword here if you'd like, but uh, or you can just expand the window and see what our most popular maps are. But to get started, um, you just sign up for free, and it's it's a pretty brief uh, brief form here. You just uh, put your name, uh, email, a password of your choice, and then you configure your map. So every every crowd map has a subdomain. So that would be, for example, evan.crowdmap.com would be one, um, or uh, you know. BrisbaneStorm.crowdmap.com, things like that. Um, so, let's see if Hello World is taken. Oh, it's taken. All right. Haha, -ha, Hello World, one, two, three. All right. So, you, you uh, just fill out this form. I don't think I have that email address taken. OK, so this is your uh, CrowdMap account dashboard. And from here, um, you can see all of your deployments. You can have as many as you like. You're not limited to one topic or, or one purpose. Um, but as soon as you sign up, your new uh, your new crowd map, your new Ushihidi installation is booted up and it's at its default settings here. So as you can see, it required, you know, 10 seconds and no configuration. So you're, you're ready to roll here. Um, I'm going to assume you, you, have, you have some level of familiarity with Ushihidi and how it works, but I'll give you the basics here. Um, from your uh, crowdmap.com dashboard, you can go right into your admin dashboard for your deployment. <clears throat> and so, uh, as you'll see, this is this is just like the Ushihi you you know and love. You have your reports, your messages, your stats. You can configure add-ons. Now, this is this is one element that you need to consider when you decide whether you want to do a standalone Ushihi installation or crowd map. You. We have a set of pre-approved plugins and themes that you can use with uh, with CrowdMap, and this is for security reasons. Of course, we have to vet every plugin that we allow you to use and make sure it's safe and it doesn't compromise the system. So, you don't have the whole ecosystem of Ushihidi plugins to choose from, but you do have, um, you know, the most popular ones and the ones you'll most likely want to use. So. You know that's that's something to decide whether whether that's important to you or not. And for developers, if you're if you're hacking on Ushihidi, you will of course want to install Ushihidi on your own server to to do that because we don't allow you to modify code. Um, but as you can see, we have all the all the basic themes here and all the uh, all the common plugins. So let's try filing a report real quick and see how curation works. So just like any Ushahidi installation, anyone can come to your site, assuming it's public, and set up a report. All right, and then you can pick 
uh, pick your location and pick your categories. And you know, if you have a new source link for this or want to upload photos, you can do that as well. But we'll submit it. So uh, by default, any submit any report that comes in um, has to be uh, reviewed by yourself or whoever you set as an admin or moderator. So let's go into reports. And you'll see we have um, this new report I just posted. Hey everyone, this is an example report for the Google Plus Hangout. So you can go in here and you can review it. You can say, well, this, you know, does this look legit? Does this look appropriate for my deployment? And um, if so, you can approve it. And if you verify the details of this report, you can verify it. So that just gives it some level of credibility. So now if you go into the report section of your deployment, you'll see this is a new example report. So that's, that's really the basics of, of, uh, of user submitted uh, posts and, and, and curation. So uh, just like any Ushikiti deployment, you can customize it. Um, you can set your, your name, your site banner, your message, copyright statement, all the, all the usual things. Um, but you can also you know, decide whether you, or not you want this to be a private deployment or not. And that's, you know, depending on the subject matter, you may want to leave that as private. Um, and eventually set it to public after you've curated all the information you need. Uh, and you can manually approve new users and all those, all those important things. Um, so that's, that's pretty much the basics of CrowdMap. Um, as I said, if you're familiar with Ushahidi, you should feel right at home here. If you, uh, if you want to get kind of um, crazy with it, uh, CrowdMap supports the Ushahidi API. So if you have some technical prowess and you want to build applications on top of our API, on top of all this, um, all on top of all this geo data and all these reports, uh, you can do all sorts of interesting things. Our iPhone and Android apps are both uh, both open source, so you can use those as a starting point, as our SDKs that those are built on top of. So you can build all sorts of interesting apps, and we have a, a, a REST API for building web-based apps as well. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, the only other things I would mention is CrowdMap runs on top of our single sign-on service uh, called CrowdMap ID, which is a, a project I head up. So basically, if you've ever used uh, Swift River, which is another one of our products, um, you'll already have a CrowdMap account. Well, technically a CrowdMap ID account, but it's single sign-on. So if you have one account here, and you have an account there. So it makes it pretty simple for using any of our products. And uh, if you're interested in that, that is also open source on our GitHub account. Um, the obvious advantage to CrowdMap is zero technical knowledge. You can get up, you can get up and running on your deployment within seconds. You have you know you have us to come to if you need help. And uh, of course, our our servers are well battle tested and and very secure. So you can feel confident that you know uh, have I configured this right? Am I going to be leaking user data? You know we've We've got this. We've got this figured out. So um, that's pretty much it in terms of the hands-on. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'd certainly be open to them. Let me switch back to my other machine here. The red banner at the top is basically a step-by-step um, -step guide on getting your new CrowdMap, your new Ushahidi deployment set up. So um, 
it's basically every time every time you set up a new deployment it'll say uh, you know change map settings so you would click up here oh, switch back to my other machine you would go up to here and it would guide you through you know, it basically says so please select your default country I'm the United States so you would say United States will my deployment span multiple countries is this going to be a worldwide deployment or are you going to be dealing with a topic that's not geographically bound um, so you add that do you want a map timeline it's kind of that's just something you can you can play with it's 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 a bit complex to explain but and then you save your settings <coughs> and you'll see it's turned green now that means you've completed that step and just keep on going through here you can create categories you can select your theme and um, Somewhat importantly, you want to create an about page so people know what your deployment is, is really about, who you are, why you're interested in this topic, and things like that. Posting data to the map. Um, can I do a walkthrough of the user experience of posting data to the map? Sure. Well, um, it's, like I, it's like I showed before. Basically, um, basically you would go to... Um, the deployment homepage, uh, your user would, and you just have a submit a report button right up here. And this is this is the um, this is the, the the primary way of of getting user information onto the map. So um, so they would fill out a um, a brief report like this. They would set the geographical area that the event occurred and the title and pick whatever categories are related to that. Um, they can also use uh, location name in order to get uh, more specific in terms of uh, you know, in, in terms of in not just having a, uh, a latitude and longitude but also explaining where that is exactly in like the corner of Market Street things like that. Um, you can also link uh, your, your news source um, if you have one, uh, external video links such as a YouTube video, or uh, upload photos, and by default, um, reports are anonymous, and they can provide information if they choose to. So, the user would submit that. Oops. Didn't set the required field there. There we go. So they would submit that. And then um, all reports have to be re reviewed by yourself or other people on your team. And they fall under the reports section here. So there's our hello world. And you can approve and verify that. And verify is basically just giving some credibility to the report saying we have verified that this did, in fact, happen. Whereas approval says, I guess you could say this, this may have happened. And this is. This is something to look at, but it's not necessarily verified. So they're two, two separate concepts there. Can the data be exported with the geographic features created in the app? Yes, it absolutely can. Um, we have a full API, as well as a uh, GeoJSON-based um, uh, RSS feed. So you can, you can pull all this information out and use it in pretty much any way you want. You don't have to use Ushahidi as the viewer for this information. You could just even have it as the back end. Um, uh, you know, if you were pulling in things from Twitter or, or wherever, um, and use it in all sorts of ways in terms of building your own front ends for it. So, uh, how can people add news feeds? All right. So, to do that, Well, we support a, a whole a whole range of of, of input methods in, in terms of uh, people can email reports, people can use the API to submit reports, the front end. Um, people can also use text messaging to send reports. Um, let's see, add-ons. Um, our add-ons allow you to do. Uh, you know, you can add uh, Facebook commenting and things like that if you'd like. 
or add uh, social sharing elements. Um, let's go into manage here. Oops, my internet's a bit wonky today. So um, to add a news feed, you go into manage in the manage section inside the admin section, and you go into news feeds. This is also, by the way, where you can customize your categories and add blocks to the home page and things like that. So um, the news feeds use uh, RSS-based feeds. So uh, I don't know if I have one handy here. I don't think I have any RSS feeds handy offhand, actually. But, in any case, you would just give the feed a name here, and then you would put the feed URL in this in this field here, and you would hit save, and it would begin aggregating that information, and those would uh, those would show up as uh, as feed items, which you can then approve and verify, much like reports, and they would be imported like reports. Um, Here's an, uh, an interesting, uh, interesting report map that uh, my colleague Brian Herbert made, and this is this is basically a visualization of all the reports that CrowdMap users have created across the world. There are there are no textures here. There's no geography. It is purely a black map, and every single pixel on here is a report. Um, so you, it's kind of cool. It sort of looks like that Earth at Night uh, image that's that's so popular, and that you can you can see the geography all over the place. But that gives you some indication of the globalness of of the CrowdMap community and and what you might be able to uh, the, the, might be able to accomplish with with crowdsourcing. How many reports are on that map? Actually, I'm not sure offhand exactly how many reports are on there. Um, you might, Heather might know, over 35,000. That's insane. It's truly insane. Can we create designs for the page? So that is one of the, um, I, I assume you're talking the, the, about the, the front-facing website here, the, um, the deployment homepage. You can, with Ushahidi, the, the the th the yin and yang to CrowdMap is that because we have to vet all of our plugins and themes for security reasons to make sure it doesn't compromise the system, we don't allow you to upload external code. So um, you can't do any major theming changes to this aside from aside from themes that we've we've chosen. And if you're looking to do that, you may want to do um, you may want to use Ushahidi. But you can do things like uploading banners and um, customizing colors and you know certain um, certain styling changes. You can absolutely do that. But uh, anything in terms of the structure of the page, um, you'll probably be dealing with code. Aside from the blocks down here, these are called blocks, and these are basically just content cells that you can you can choose inside the admin console. So. Yeah, unicorn is a great theme. I like that theme a lot. Should we change that? Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's an add on, isn't it? So here's the unicorn theme as an example. So we select that and save it. Now, if we refresh, bam. So it's a pretty different look. Um, I agree, this is probably one of my favorite themes as well. It's very popular. Yeah, that is 
you, you can do a lot of customization without without diving into code and, and having to deal with the technical side of things. And that that's again, that's that's the, the pro and con of CrowdMap is that you can get really customizable with Ushahidi uh, in your own server, but you have to have the technical know how to do that. And that's of course, you know, what, what CrowdMap is trying to avoid. It's trying to take the whole complexity out of it and leaving you just to your deployment and doing the the hard work of of curating your information. Yeah, should I show adding pages? Interested in seeing adding pages? Let's do that. So under manage you can go into the pages section here. And you can add add as many pages as you want. And it has a full uh, full WYSIWYG editor, so you can do all sorts of formatting. Um, you can include links and, and photos and videos and things like that, but we'll just create a, a simple about page here. Oops, I think it's still hitting it, isn't it? All right, so you see I just added an about page, and it shows up automatically in our nav header once I make it visible. And so you can you can use this sort of like a CMS in terms of um, uh, some basic page functionality in case you want to explain what your deployment is about and why you're doing what you're doing and who you are and all sorts of things like that. It might be useful also to have a rules page so you can give an outline of like, well, this is the data we accept and this is the format we would prefer it in, if you would be so kind as to do it that way. Um, but you can see um, the women under siege have, have used this, and they they actually have a, a, a multilingual about page, which is is quite nice if you're going to be doing something international, like this. You see, it's in uh, two different languages there, so. Um, let me see if I can link that, Heather. MightyMoRiver.CrowdMap.com Page Index 14. <coughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is impressive. So, yeah, yeah as you can see, you can do some pretty heavy-duty um, formatting with this. They have a, a table and all sorts of links to related... Uh, related sections, related uh, sites, rather. OK. OK, do we have any other questions or anything I can, I can answer for anyone? Um, the CrowdMap team right now is working on, um, of course, maintaining uh, maintaining CrowdMap and, and uh, fixing bugs in the core platform. But we're also working on a, a major revision of the service that will. Um, I shouldn't go into too much detail yet until we have everything ironed out. But it's a it's a major product update that you'll be seeing um, within the next uh, couple months, the middle of the year, and. Um, we're pretty excited about it, and we think it's it's really gonna sort of blow this whole thing out of the water. So stay tuned to that. Um, if you um, if you have any questions, you can uh, tweet them to us at CrowdMap, or you can use the chat section inside of Google Hangouts. So yeah, SMS. <clears throat> we support a, diff uh, a number of different SMS providers. Um, oops, it's under settings. Um, you can configure this under the SMS section. Um, uh, you have to enable the add-ons for them, though. 
Um, we, well, as I said, we support a number of different services, uh, such as uh, Frontline SMS and um, SMS Sync, which is a, a rather rather cool gateway app for uh, for Android phones that um, one of our developers made. Um, so it basically means you you set up a phone. You have a phone set up with the with the SMS Sync, and text messages that come into that phone number then get bounced to your Ushahidi uh, or CrowdMap deployment. So it's a, it's a really inexpensive way of, of dealing with, with uh, accepting SMSs. Um, but that's all, yeah, frontline SMS version 1 and 2 are supported. And uh, you can go to uh, smssync.ushahidi.com for um, documentation on setting up SMS sync, which is pretty awesome, if I do say so. Any, uh, any other questions? Are you guys working on any, um, any, uh, any current projects that uh, you might be interested in, in us looking at or anything that we could help you with? I figured I figured this this presentation would take about thirty minutes, so I was about spot on, I think. So. Okay. Right. Well, I think that's pretty pretty good. I think, um, at least for our our pilot hangout. Um, if you're interested in in getting set up with uh, with uh, Ushahidi or CrowdMap, uh, we have a wiki at wiki.ushahidi.com, and um, you can of course uh, tweet us at CrowdMap or at Ushahidi, and um, you can contact me personally if you'd like. I'd be happy to help you. It's Evan at Ushahidi.com. That's E V A N. Um, and we have a uh, we have community forums as well at forums.ushihidi.com <coughs> and a mailing list list.ushihidi.com. We got everything. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Um, again, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. But uh, I thank you. I thank you again for coming out to our, our pilot hangout, and I hope we can do more of these in the future. So thanks very much.